everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about top 10 most common mistakes on the cello for beginners. Watch every single one. You will find out that you will improve right away just by not making these mistakes. Watch on. Number one, beginners tend to use a lot of bow on everything. <laughs> equal amount. As a matter of fact, the faster the notes, the less bow you use. And then longer notes, you can use a little bit longer bow, but don't use them equally. Just really try to be more succinct and not use too much bow, because if you use too much bow, then the sound is kind of fluffy. Which brings me to number two. The sound can be kind of fluffy, and what happens is there's no core sound. So make sure the weight of your bow and the speed of your bow and that combination grabs the string so that it has a good sound. Now each string will feel slightly different. So the thicker the string, of course, the slower you have to be and a little bit more weight. So A string, you can go like this and go kind of fast and be kind of light in your weight. But C string, you need just a little bit more body weight and move a little slower. Make sure you try out different combinations and see what works for you. Number three, people sometimes have crooked bow when they start to play the cello. Sometimes they go like this, that's definitely crooked, or like this, which is equally bad. So make sure their bow is right in the middle, like this, and you can use a mirror to help you. And also my toilet paper exercise really works. If you want to know what I'm talking about, just go check out this video right here, which will teach you how to use the toilet paper so that your bow is straight. And remember, each string looks a little differently. Like right here, right now, it looks like it's crooked from your point of view, but from my point of view, it's straight because the angle of the string is different, so you have to adjust accordingly, so toilet paper can really help. Number four, make sure your right hand position is correct. A lot of beginners sometimes hold the bow too much like this, or sometimes it's like this, right? It's this way. But the best way to figure out whether you're holding bow correctly is to look and see if it looks natural. The fingers should be pretty much perpendicular with a slight pronation this way, very slight. Then the thumb slightly bent in the back. And if you see anything where it sticks out, like your wrist is sticking out or your elbow is sticking out or if you cave like this, that means your hand is not correct. If it feels or looks not correct, like anything sticking out and unnatural, that's when you know that you need to figure out the most natural way to play because that's how cello playing is. We want it to feel and look and sound natural. Number five, and this has to do with your left hand. Now be sure that your hand looks like, again, the same thing that I just talked about, that everything is nice and aligned, nothing caved, weird. There is a shape to it. it looks like you're holding a big beer or big cup when you put your fingers down it looks natural if it looks like this which is a very very common tendency for beginners because they're just trying to stretch out and they're trying to do extension and they end up looking like this can't believe the pillow was all messed up the whole time but anyway number six left hand fingers i see people kind of flatten their hand sometimes we do need to do that especially for double stops most of the time it's kind of like meow claw meow 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 cat claw okay so they need to be rounded but not exactly like that like rounded and your fingertips should be on top of the strings like this like so but not like that that's because mm -mm -mm. you can't get around fast enough if you're flat like this number seven you're playing in the wrong place on the string i see a lot of students playing here <laughs> The good rule of thumb is to play about two thirds from the end of the fingerboard to the bridge. So from here to here, two thirds. That's about the right place. That's what sounds the best. Anything more? It sounds scratchy, too fluffy. So make sure you play at the right place on the string. Number eight, this I see so often students practicing too 
fast. I cannot emphasize this enough. This seems obvious, but people get frustrated. They try to figure out how to play, so they keep making mistakes. They keep practicing the wrong mistakes because they wouldn't slow down. You'll be surprised to hear this, but professional cellists like myself, I spend about 80% of my time practicing under tempo. Sometimes way under, sometimes a little bit under, but always, always under. If you find that you have difficulties, that's when you go and say, okay, I'm gonna slow it way the heck down. And until you're really comfortable at a slower tempo, then you can inch it up, up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until you play fast enough. So that's how it has to be. Number nine, I see cellists not adjusting their end pin correctly. And therefore they're either sitting like this because their end pin is too long, or they're sitting all the way in the front and falling off the chair because the end pin is too short. Make sure the cello is resting comfortably about in the middle of your chest. You may need to adjust the height of your chair and find a chair that is right for you. And you know, these things is hard for me to tell you exactly what to do because everybody's height, their cello and their chairs are all different. So you just have to find something that is comfortable and that you feel like you can move freely. Number 10, people like to play at the frog all the time, especially beginners. I find you always starting here, which is good, but sometimes you may want to start over here. The way I tell people is to start from here, which is the frog, to the middle of the bow and about two thirds from here to here. So right around here is a good place to start. Sometimes you do need to start the frog and sometimes you need to use the middle of your bow, but I think that's a good place to start. So right around here is a good place to start. I hope that you found this video valuable and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out with my algorithm so that more people can see videos like these and you can also subscribe right here and you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok at Chellis Wendy Long. Leave me a comment and let me know what are some of the issues that you might be working with out of 1 to 10. I really would like to hear. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!